Your next easy, simple, delicious breakfast is here with these fantastic corn fritters and zucchini fritters. You gotta try them out, friends. Welcome, friends in the kitchen making some very simple fritters here. You're gonna love these minimal ingredients and as you can probably already see, we're getting into corn and zucchini fritters. These fritters are so easy, huge fan favorite here. They make for a perfect breakfast, perfect snack and a great kid friendly snack as well. I'm just gonna run through these, show you how to make them but also definitely do check out the comment section below for the full recipe for you to save later, for you to love and enjoy at a later date and let me know how you go. But anyway, we're just gonna do these corn ones first. I have this container right here where we're just gonna blitz them up, all these ingredients, just gonna chuck them all in. Very, very straightforward recipe. All we've got here is just some corn kernels. So we've got two cups of corn kernels here. We're just gonna blitz it up. So we'll just put a cup and a half of your corn kernels into the container. So what I've got here is just like a flax egg. So this was just one tablespoon of flax seed blended up and then three tablespoons of water. So this is great little recipe to bind up. It's kind of like an egg and look at that consistency. So it's just gonna bind up these ingredients really well. So this has been sitting aside for probably about half an hour to thicken up, but we're just gonna chuck that in as well. Three quarter cup of plain flour, about a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and over here we have a tablespoon of onion powder, any flavors you like, but this onion powder is perfect. So all that is there. We're just gonna blitz that up now to get a nice consistency. The consistency looks perfect there. You want it a little bit wet. That was really straightforward. All we're gonna do now is just add in those remainder corn kernels, give it a bit of texture. Now all we're gonna do is just stir this around so it's fully combined. And then we're just gonna head over to the fry pan, cook it on some medium heat with some olive oil and super simple and done in a handful of minutes. So this will probably make about six to 10 corn fritters. We've just got these golden corn fritters cooking away here. You're just gonna cook them a couple minutes each side until they're golden brown. And what you're gonna do, just flatten them down a little bit as you go. You might need to flip them over a few times to ensure that they are fully cooked. So a little tip with this wet mixture, I always advise having a little cup of water here. Wet your hands makes it so much easier to form your little fritters, whack it on the fry pan and away you go. Okay, fritter number two that you're gonna love, as you can tell, zucchini fritters. So I've grated up a large zucchini here, and then I've also sprinkled over some salt to just absorb some of that moisture. You probably want that to sit for about an hour. Sprinkle over a little bit more salt as well. You can dab it with some paper towel, so there isn't too much moisture in that zucchini. So let's move on to making the zucchini fritters, and I'm gonna make a bowl up here. Just like that, so again, very simple ingredients. So you're just gonna whack in your grated zucchini. Don't stress too much about if there's a little a bit more moisture in there. You can only do as best as you can. But that is one a large zucchini, or if you've got a couple smaller ones, this is fantastic to use up those zucchinis. And then we've also just got a handful of ingredients here. So I've actually just recently purchased this garlic mincer here. So this was about actually $25. It is an odd contraption. Never seen one like this before, but you know, how do you mince up your garlic? Please let me know. So check this out. You just press it down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and boom, easy, easy. And then you just scrape it off and you go. So like, it's actually pretty easy to wash and mince up your garlic. $25 for <laughs> this device, it seems like a lot, but I don't know, like if it works, I'm happy to spend a little bit extra money on a device that actually works. Do not get me started. I've purchased some non-stick fry pans in the past for like 
couple hundred dollars and then the non-stick is gone within like you know a couple of weeks so a couple garlic cloves they're minced up we've got half a teaspoon of salt a teaspoon of baking powder half a cup of plain flour and then a little seasoning here we've got some sweet sweet paprika so about a teaspoon of sweet paprika in there do not go overboard with your paprika it will honestly ruin this dish a teaspoon of nutmeg as well I've got two tablespoons of nutritional yeast here as well, giving it a little bit of a cheesy flavor. I love nutritional yeast. I love chucking it in so many dishes. And then we've got one tablespoon of soy milk here as well. And all I'm gonna do now is add in a little bit more seasoning with some salt and pepper, mix the combined, and then we're gonna go over there again and fry up these delicious zucchini fritters. So again, on a medium heat, cooking these zucchini fritters. Like I said last time, my tip, have a cup of water to help you form these up. You want a little bit of moisture with your zucchini fritters so they hold together really well. Again, these are super simple and very delicious. And one of my favorite ways to have these zucchini fritters is just a little bit of vegan feta, chuck on some rocket, some diced cherry tomatoes, and that is the perfect breakfast or snack. But there we go friends, these whipped up in absolutely no time at all. Very simple as you just saw how easy that was. Chucking ingredients in a bowl, mixing around, chucking it on a fry pan. Very, very simple. Fantastic breakfast item for you to try out. Two lovely fritter breakfast items that you can really jazz up with some rocket vegan feta, whatever toppings that you want to do. Or these are a fantastic snack. Our kids absolutely love them in their lunch boxes. So there we go, friends. I really hope you try out both of these vegan friendly fritter recipes for yourself. And please let me know, are you team corn fritters or team zucchini fritters? In my opinion, these are the two best fritters out on the market. And I probably have to lean closer to zucchini fritters being my favorite. Anyway, friends, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And while you are here, definitely check out this video right here. I'm sure you're gonna absolutely love that one as much as you loved this one. So until next time, friends, I will catch you very, very soon.